Morning prayer at Corpus Christi. The college needs to build eight more bedrooms to cope with a record number of enrolments. The priest in charge says the popularity of World Youth Day has led to a steady rise in people entering the seminary. To see millions of young people, you know, um, want to be part of the church and because um, often in the parish there's very small numbers of young people and they see, they see that big crowd and it gives them hope. Olic Stewart was one of those worshippers at Sydney's World Youth Day in 2008. I was only 13 and probably didn't appreciate it fully but for me it was an amazing experience just to see it, uh, the Pope and uh, participate in a papal mass. That popularity has been followed by the highest enrolment in decades. In 1999, there are only 28 students in the college. Now there are 59. 17 of them are first year trainees. For Anthony Belchami, a light bulb moment came as he spent eight weeks at home nursing a broken leg. Breaking my leg was a real blessing um, because it gave me that opportunity to have calmness and still so I could hear, hear God's voice. The trainees suspect some people think the seminary is a cloistered, almost medieval environment. It's not medieval, it's, it's very modern. Um, we, we learn um, the same things that people learn in universities and we tackle the same issues that everyone faces in everyday life. All prospective students are now subjected to extensive screening, including psychological tests and checks for pedophilia. The church is a dangerous place for pedophiles today. They wouldn't survive five minutes now. We're alert. It's a long seven year pathway to the priesthood and the church says about half to two thirds of the seminarians actually complete the training to become new members of the Catholic clergy. And one of the key challenges they face is a vow of celibacy. It is going against the current in a sense, but it is a new way of loving and celibacy is something that I'm still learning to sort of uh, embrace. And as to whether he thinks he'll go the distance? If you ask me how confident I am, uh, I'm not sure, God willing, uh, <laughs> I'll get there. Greg Diet, SBS World News.